Hi everyone, I've decided to do a few more vloggy type uh, things on this channel. So I'm just heading towards Marlebone High Street in London now. And uh, I'm going to visit a very odd little churchyard, former church, with some very interesting and quite creepy features. Just on Marlebone High Street now, heading down. Probably quite noisy. See, there's a big lorry behind me. So I'm just heading down now in this direction. So I'm just arriving at destination now, which is a very odd graveyard, and it's here behind me. So this is the uh, former site of the old parish church of St Marlebone, which has some interesting uh, people buried here, but also some interesting features and uh, tells a story about, um, well, about a large expanse of history, really, from the 18th century right up until the uh, aftermath of the Second World War, when the church was former church here was so badly damaged that it was demolished and this quite interesting garden was placed here. One of the things that interests me most about this churchyard is this grave, in particular this symbol, which is clearly Masonic Freemasonry. And people used to be a lot more forthcoming about their membership of these organisations then. Seem to have become a bit of a, well not a dirty word, but um, it's had better PR, put it that way. So no sooner than I arrived here, a tour group who are just departing now have just left, so uh, 
Yeah, there might have been a bit of chatter and a bit of noise in the background as the guide was delivering her speech about um, John Wesley. So the Memorial Garden of Rest commemorates the site of the old parish church and was created in 1951 by the St Marlebone Society. After the present parish church on Marlebone Road was consecrated in 1817, the church on this site became known as the Parish Chapel. Finally closing as a place of worship in 1926, it was damaged in air raids during the war and the structure deteriorated so much that it became dangerous. Since means were not available at the time to restore it and it was not in use, the church was demolished in 1949. The history of the old parish church is summarised on the stone plaques mounted on the wall of the garden. Some of the well-known people connected with the church and its predecessor are also listed there. The principal species of tree in this garden include the red Indian bean tree. I'm not going to read the Latin. Judas tree. And... I don't know what that is, Wasses, Laburnum, and Witch Elm. The Witch Elm is one of a handful of mature elm trees left in Westminster and is actually located in the street outside the garden. The elms were devastated by the Dutch elm disease outbreak of the 1960s, which killed millions of elm trees. Legend has it the Judas tree is the tree upon which Judas hung himself. However, it could also have gained its name as the fruit pods resemble bags of silver. There we go. There's some arboreal information too. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. And as I always say, you can also support the channel on subscribe star via the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.